Hey everyone, this is Flammy. Welcome back. We're here with Jorge Yao. Jorge, the number one player, has since retired from the game as dropped to number two. We're here to talk about why he's retired and what his plan to do next. Welcome back, Jorge. Thanks, Flammy. Always a pleasure. All right, so I got a couple questions from myself here and a couple fan questions. So probably the first question that's on everyone's mind is why are you retiring and are you leaving the game? Um, I'm not leaving the game. Uh, I would call it a long hiatus, if anything. I've been on top for, for six months now and pretty much set every individual record that I've wanted to set basically and gold it if I wanted to achieve. So um, I kind of just want to focus now on, on being, building my own uh, gaming social network and, and helping design more games in the future and help design more games. That's pretty awesome, and uh, I'm really glad that Clash has sort of enabled this experience for you going forward. So uh, I guess more in terms of that, what now? Um, outside the game, inside the game, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, well, right now I'm just I'm enjoying regular life now. Uh, I'm not really focusing too much on, on Clash, and it's uh, it's a good feeling. It's a, it's always nice to have a, a nice break after a long... Um, everything's always good in moderation. <laughs> So you're definitely cutting back your hours you've been putting in the class then? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Well, I got a user question here, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, someone has submitted, I think it would be entertaining to see Hori go to zero <laughs> trophies and then rise to the top again, if you could. What do you say to that? Wow. Is that hmm. a challenge right there for you? Oh, I don't do well with challenges. Um, that's an interesting one. I, uh... Let's 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 discuss that. Ooh, I hear a possibility there, guys. You know what? Stay tuned. I'll be sure to drag Jorge back to that question and make him pay for that one right there. <laughs> All right, see. continuing then. You can think about that one. All right. <laughs> How much have you spent total? Um, I spent a, a good. I mean, in interview one, I kind of went into how much I was spending, but uh, since I hit four thousand, I've actually been fortunate enough to be sponsored, so I haven't had to pay for any. Basically for anything, um, since I've, since I've hit 4,000, so. So is that a company sponsoring you, or can you reveal who they are? Um, he, he, uh, likes to be, or remain anonymous, so. I guess I'll respect we'll just go his with He or she, or company, could be either one. <laughs> Alright then, will you continue to spend, or I guess will you continue to be sponsored? Um, so I am currently still sponsored, so I won't be spending directly, however, of course my sponsor will be. Um, so yeah, I'll still be, I'll still be playing. <laughs> so how does that relate to your base currently, which, uh, as of the last update, isn't completely maxed out? So like, I know you didn't buy all the level 11 walls, which are very, very expensive. Well, I mean, Jorge uh, is going to drop, so, I mean, I'm retiring that account, but slowly just winding that account down, slowly dropping cups, so. Uh, let's go back to some more fan questions. What yeah. trophy count are you aiming to be at? What trophy count? Um, I guess just enough to be in North and be a part of North during tournaments and, and whatnot. I know that, you know, even if I dropped below Champion League, of course North would, would keep me there. However, um, I would volunteer myself on tournament days to, to leave. But I would like to stay above in the Champion League and, and be still a part of, you know, Sunday tournaments because they are pretty fun. So, for those of you who aren't aware, Champion League is, of course, 3,200 plus trophies. So, that's your target right there? 3,200 yeah. plus? Yep, exactly. All right, then. Uh, another fan question. What sort of a legacy will you be leaving behind? What sort of legacy? Um, that's a hard one, actually. Uh, I never really thought too much into it because I really never expected to be in the position that I am. I <laughs> Back in February 1st, I think it was February, maybe January, that we did the first interview? Uh, so I think it was January or late December, one of the two. Right, so back then, I, you know, I, I was well planning to stop after I hit 4,000. I just, but, you know, once once I did and, and kept going, um, it just, so things just kind of fell in place, so. So I, I guess your legacy is something like, you, you didn't plan to ha have it happen to you, but you managed to stay at the top despite that, and anything anyone else could probably do the same with the raid map dedication and such? Yeah, so basically just seize the opportunity when you see it, or seize any opportunity when you see it, because that's essentially what I what I did. I didn't expect this to happen. I saw an opportunity, and I took advantage of it. I think it's good life advice right there. All right, one more question from me, and then some more fan questions. Do you sure. play any other games? Um, currently, I do not. I used to play um, Call of Duty a lot. Started off, you know, playing 
Counter Strike, StarCraft. So, you know, I used to be a gamer, however, now I'm just enjoying my free time. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not playing Clash of Clans, of course. Exactly. Out of your whole Clash of Clans career, what has been your favorite moment? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Hmm. So, actually, I think it would be, it, it was uh, pretty funny. This one time, uh, a buddy of ours in North, Turbo997, I think he, uh, he, he actually retired, so he hasn't played in, in quite a bit, so we do miss him. Him and I'm sure a lot of you probably know, uh, Charles, his, uh, gamertag is sc.charles. We, we always joke around, so this one time, uh, Turbo997, he's from, I think, the UAE, so he was speaking Arabic in, uh, this was pre-update, so it wasn't in Arabic language, um, the actual character, so uh, he was speaking and, uh, or typing, I say, I would say, and Charles was trying to translate, so Charles, instead of going to Google or anything, he went around to different clans trying to find someone that would translate, and Turbo would go and follow him everywhere and say something in Arabic, and no one would tell Charles what he was saying. So he, they did that for probably about an hour and went to probably around 30 clans. And you could just like track them through their, through our game centers, like hopping to one clan to the next, to the next, and they'd be just, just screenshotting. Still trying to find a translator then? <laughs> yeah. We finally found out what it was, but it was, it was pretty funny, the chase. <laughs> All right then. That was, that was not what I was expecting. That was a cool one. I like that. Uh, is there anything that, thing that would make you want to play Clash of Clans again, such as Clan Wars? Yeah, that's actually a very good suggestion. I think that um, incorporating some sort of clan dynamics uh, more so would be it would be really great for gameplay. All right, I like that clan that uh, guest suggestion as well. All right, another fan question: If you could change one thing about the game, what would it be? If I could change one thing, it would actually be to make updates cheaper. Um, also clearly to add more clan collaboration aspects, uh, such as clan wars, as you mentioned. But yeah, to, to make future updates cheaper. So uh, in terms of someone who's not actually paying currently for your gems, is that so like more players can participate in the top level, so it's not as expensive for them to get in, especially later once other people have maxed out? Oh, certainly. Um, you know, as, as things get cheaper. And I know Supercell has done a very good job with uh, balance tweaks uh, every update, so they are making thing, prior updates cheaper. However, you know, future updates, it, it, I think that more people will end up playing. All right. I like the suggestion as well. Here's another fan question. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Oh, of course. Of course. Like I said, I never expected any of this to happen. Um, it, it just kind of, ha- it, it still really hasn't hit me. I'm just, I consider myself a very ordinary guy and I still am. So... Um, just to have the, the support and the uh, reaction from people, it's it's amazing. It's been amazing. I absolutely feel the same way personally. Uh, Classic Clans has changed a lot about my life, and definitely on a day-to-day basis as well. Certainly, certainly. All right, then, one final fan question. Who do you think will take over the t- number one spot in the leaderboards? Well, I mean, that's a pretty easy question since Kamal has already taken the leader. <laughs> the number one ranking in the leaderboards. However, he, he solely deserves it. He's he's been a great student along with, you know, several others such as Ted Waugh and MB Schaff. Um, you know, they they're just they're amazing and, and great protégés. Do you think these guys in North forty four in general will be able to hold on to the number one spot then? Well hopefully if I tell taught them well. <laughs> well there you go. Uh, I guess it's on your head still. Yeah, hopefully. Um, they're looking pretty good right now, so it seems to be working. Well, all right, then. Thank you very much once again for talking with me and for everyone here on the Internet. I'm sure everyone has enjoyed listening to your perspective. And uh, thank you once again for doing all these interviews, sharing all this sort of exclusive knowledge and sort of insight into this hidden world of top players, gemmers, top of the trophy count, top of the leaderboards. I really appreciate it. I know everyone else does as well. So thank you very much, Jorge. Always glad to have you on here anytime you want. I will be bugging you about that potential <laughs> trophy uh, count dropping and then rising. I'm so afraid that was going to happen. <laughs> you can't get away from me that easily. Guys, I will make a follow-up video where I can see what I can extract from Jorge on that one. Beyond that, Jorge, do you have any shout-outs you'd like to give? Yeah. Um, thank you all for uh, for your support. Thanks for all the you know the fans that, that support me. And first and foremost, my clan. Thanks for and the whole family, the 44 family. And last but not least, uh, our fearless leader and queen, uh, Levesters. 
Well, awesome. Thank you very much, Jorge, once again. And thank you, everyone, for sending in your questions. Hope you enjoyed. Throw this video a like if you did appreciate it. You can follow Jorge on both Facebook and Twitter. Links for those are in the description. Jorge Yao 87 I also have my own Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, YouTube channel. So if you do appreciate content like this, as well as other Clash Clans strategy, tactics, etc., feel free to follow, subscribe, tweet at me, like me, etc. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Clammy and Jorge. Have a great day, and clash on. Be good.